Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Bulbs, corms, tuberous roots and stems, rhizomes and pseudobulbs are specialized vegetative structures that function as the primary food storage organ. These plants are generally herbaceous perennials. This means that the shoots die at the end of the growing season, but the plant survives in the ground as a dormant, fleshy organ that can produce new shoots the next season. The main purpose of these specialized structures, or bulbs, is for storage and reproduction. Most of the bulb is made up of scales. The outer scales are fleshy and contain the food reserves. The inner scales store less carbohydrates and are more leaf-like. In the bulb's center, there will either be a vegetative meristem that will grow leaves, or an undeveloped flower shoot. The meristems found in the axles of the scales produce small bulbs, known as bulblets. When these bulblets are fully grown, they are called offsets. In some lily species, bulblets can also develop in the leaf axles above the ground. These are called bulbuls. If a bulblet is growing underground, it is called a stem bulblet. Some examples of bulbs include onions, garlic and lilies. Bulbs are commonly propagated through offsets, scoring and scaling. Corms, like gladiolus and freesia, are grown through offsets. Tuberous roots, like sweet potato and dahlia, are multiplied through adventitious bud development. Potatoes and tuberous begonias are examples of tuberous stems. These plants are propagated using axillary buds. Rhizomes, like iris and bamboo, are grown using apical and axillary buds. Lastly, pseudobulbs, like epiphytic orchids, are multiplied through adventitious and axillary buds. There are so many kinds of bulbs, and each of them will have unique propagation methods. Keep an eye out for more videos in this series of bulb propagation for more information on these methods. Thanks for watching and see you next time.